What's up, my friends? It's your boy Trainer Pyro. Oh my god. <laughs> I love this movie. This is the Detective Pikachu figure multi pack, which includes Mewtwo, Bulbasaur, um, Psyduck, two freaking Pikachus. We don't need we don't need any more Pikachus. One would be enough. One would have been enough. And we got Ludicolo. Oh god. Now you guys here the front of the packaging. You see Detective Pikachu right here, Pokemon. And you see six figurines, multi pack. It says Detective Pikachu. It says two to pick. Ludicolo, Mewtwo, Bulbasaur, Psyduck. If you didn't see the movie, I'm not gonna spoil it, so calm down. Side of the box, other side. Let's get it. Let's get a good view of this. Get a good view of this. I don't know why my camera freezed up. And then on the other side, you got Pikachu's fat, fat bar. No, 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 I want, I want to show y'all something. See, see, would y'all think the, would, 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 like, honestly, leave in the comment section below. What do y'all think the price would be on this? Do it now because I know you're gonna cheat. I'll wait. Okay, I'm done waiting. Anyway, uh, this 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 hurt my wallet really bad. And when I turn this around, I'm gonna not scream. Oh my God, look at that price! There's no reason for it to cost almost forty dollars. So Mr. Mine, but this was so expensive. I was not getting Mr. Mine at that point. Here's the back of the box. You see all the little Easter eggs and stuff like that. Let's take a better look at this. Noodle, no, noodles. You see Tech Pile. You see it's like a little callback. Games Arcade, Fizz Pal, Focus Ticket, and you see the back. It says Toros Towing, Prime City. Yes, yeah, thing. It's like if you didn't see the movie, you should take a movie. Oh God, I don't even mean to block that. But anyway, let's get into the figure package. Just a little side note, this makes for a good diorama. Like, this, like, like you know, okay. I'm guessing y'all all know who police officers are. So have you seen, like, the lineup thing where people, like, behind a glass door, you can't see them, but they can see, no, you can't see, they can, you can see them, and you can't see them, oh my god! Like, and you pick the guy out, it's like, that's what it looks like. It looks like you're behind a glass door, and, like, on the other side, you see, like, the guys lined up. Um, that's not a, that's not a spoiler. I don't, that's not, uh, that's not the thing I was, that, that's not that happened in the movie. It does not, okay. But anyway, let's get start with suspect number one. Suspect number one is Mewtwo. I'm not gonna spoil the movie. All I'm saying, look at this thing. Why does this thing look like a half human, half Pokemon? But the, 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 the movie was good. If you didn't see the movie, go see the movie because I might not be able to keep the secret much longer. But this figure has articulation actually. Like that, that. At that and the tail, but this is very, very, very creepy. Human like, look at the ribs. I was like, and then the movie he came, he like, like, okay, I guess y'all all seen the trailers, but you see, like, when he appears, like, he, I was like, where's his clothes? He looks like a human, but he didn't have the part, so we didn't, we, we didn't want to say that. But Me Too is great. I wish they had made him in a bigger scale because the rest of them are like in scale with other figures, but this is like literally not scaled anything. But it's an awesome figure, and if you can't, you don't have it, you should get it. <laughs> get it. And next suspect is... Now, see, I would say he was a suspect, he's a detective, but... We get two Pikachus, which is a waste of space. It's not like we don't have, like, 10,000 Pikachus from different other companies in the first place. But, yeah. You see how Pikachu is, like, furry in the movie? Well, you see a little bit of fur pad on here. This figure's alright. It's like, you know what? I'm tired of having Pikachu figures in my collection, but, um, one more wouldn't kill me. Not that yet, at least. Uh, but my other, f the other two, this one don't stand up. That's why it's not my favorite out of the two. This one is my favorite. Because it's like the, it's like this. It's like the guy right here. It's like he just sitting like there, just the opposite side. He has the furry, let me see the texture. This one has no articulation, but it's still cool. Oh, dang, never! Please stand. Oh, God. You're going to stand up and you're going to like it. Next suspect. Perhaps my favorite Pokemon featured in this movie, Bulbasaur. This figure is awesome. This actually fits in scale with the Wicked Tool Toys figures that we get from like the cartoon. But you can see the, the skin patterns and all this stuff. You see the 
Old Swords is so cute. He's so cute. I don't care if he's real life. In real life, he looks cute. And if, well, I guess you would say the concept of real life. He's cute, but um, in cartoon, he's cute too. I don't give a damn. I mean, dang, dang no! I cost no. Okay, I'm going to have to um beep that out. I didn't mean to do that. I apologize. You probably won't hear it anyway, but still, I apologize. Look at this figure, it's so cute. Look at the cute bubbles. Look at his little pulp in his back. He's so cute. As you know, he's my favorite grass type Pokemon, so I was happy to see him. And um, uh, I forgot his name, Vitasaur. <laughs> Jesus Christ. Anyway, next subject. Perhaps the most funniest character for a hot second. Um, I'm not going to spoil it, but you all seen the trailers, I'm guessing. I'm hoping because the in a car ride with him when Pikachu, the interaction was good. Anyway, this figure, I don't understand. You know what I don't understand? How this figure is on one foot and stands up, and this cannon has two feet! But anyway, okay, we're not gonna rage here. Let's just see Psyduck. Psyduck was cute in the movie. Like, yeah, he was furry. You can see the fur patterns are on him. See the little hair? This one looks fatter than in the movie. But like, the, him and, the interactions between him and Pikachu are very cute. Next subject! And so far, and so good, the, the I guess you would say the second favorite figure in this thing, because Bulbasaur is pretty pretty high up there. But Ludicolo, he was good in the movie, I would I would admit. But like, he looks just like he does in the anime, except that like in the anime, he's like freaking huge. Anyway, you see the details on the hands, the feet. Ludicolo! But I'm sorry. And the pineapple on the head, you see the veins in the flower. Let's see. See the veins of the flower, it's realistic. It was creepy sometimes. Like Greninja is like, ugh, his eyeballs. But Ludicolo doesn't, oh, he does have articulation. Oh, the bigger one's okay. But Ludicolo, the thing is, he's a, he could pass for scale. Mewtwo can't pass for nothing. He looks like a baby Mewtwo. He looks like Mew if Mew was on steroids and looked like a freak. But I, I, I like these figures. If I was going to recommend any of them individually, if they sell them individually, I would say, See this. I would say get these three. Well, these four. If you see Mutual by himself, I mean, it depends on your preference. If you like this scale, then you can go ahead. But this Pikachu, I would not get. I mean, if you get the whole multi pack, it's worth it by itself with these four alone. But if I had to rate them, I would say one, two, three, four, five. And six. I didn't mean to stick up the middle finger. Jesus Christ, why can't I keep it PG? But anyway, if you like this review, leave a comment, subscribe for more. And I'll see you guys later. Bye!